Hey everyone, welcome back to iNeuronics.ai. Today we are diving into something super exciting, Composio. Imagine building AI agents that can interact with 250 plus tools and services like Google Drive, Slack, GitHub, databases, CRM, Notion, uh, Google Calendar, Google Meet, LinkedIn APIs, and many more, all in just a few clicks without spending days on writing API connectors. This tool can save your hours or even weeks of development time. So grab a cup of coffee, sit tight and let's get started. Let's start by searching Composio on Google. We're just typing Composio. Cool. We'll click on the first link, which is their official site, Composio.dev. As we scroll through their homepage, we'll explore what makes Composio such a powerful platform for AI developers, automation enthusiastic and businesses. It starts with the basics. Composio is a developer first integration platform specifically designed for AI agents and large language models. Instead of spending hours or days manually connecting APIs, Composio provides ready to use APIs and SDKs that allow you to orchestrate tasks quickly and reliably across multiple platforms. From simple actions like sending emails to more complex tasks like updating CRMs or querying databases, Composio handles all your integration work behind the scenes, letting you focus on building smarter AI application. So if I will scroll down, uh, now question arises, why should I use Composio? Because with just a few clicks, you can integrate tools ranging from Google Sheets, Google Maps, uh, Google uh, Meets, Slack, GitHub, Salesforce, Notion, CRMs to system tools like file managers and code interpreters. It works seamlessly with our 10 popular agent frameworks including Crew AI, Llama Index and connects with any large language model provider. It can be Olama, uh, Mistral AI, Google Vertex AI, Open AI, Google AI Studio, Together AI and many more making integration easy through function calling. Composio is secure enough, ensuring your data is always secure with encryption at rest and intransient. With the features like managed authentication, you don't need to worry about handling API keys management. Composio's got it covered. So let's talk about the core features of Composio over here. As I said over here, we have managed authentication. So Composio also uh, have MCP. This is a model context protocol. It standardizes tools uses across your AI agents, making everything more streamlined and efficient. So as I said, a seamless authentication system for managing users and agents in one place is there in Composio. So it also offers uh, 250 plus tools, a 30% increase in reliability, and it is secure enough as I said. So it also have robotic process automation tools uh, with the help of which it can uh, spin up with a Mac operating system and Ubuntu instances on the fly and allow agents to execute code smoothly. So it is secure enough. Uh, security is a top priority at Composio uh, because your data is always protected. Uh, you have an API key authentication and you can trust Composio with any sensitive data you have. So you can see what all solutions the people have built with the help of Composio till now and uh, what people say about Composio and if you want to read any frequently asked question you can read it from here. So now let's uh, talk about what all tools are there in Composio as they are mentioning that we have 250 plus tools. Let's see what all tools are there and how we can uh, use them. Now let's move on the tools tab by just clicking on tools over here. This is where the real magic happens. Here you will find the different categories as you can see. Uh, we can have productivity tools in which we have our uh, tools like Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Sheets, etc. We have a category called as communication platform as well, uh, where we have things like Slack, Discord and similar tools. We have CRM systems, as you can see over here, uh, where we have uh, things like uh, Salesforce, HubSpot, Interom, Apollo, Zoom Info and many more. And uh, we have development tools uh, where we can use GitHub, uh, Supabase, Pickbucket, Core Interpreter, Zen Rows, Base Rows, and many more. And if I talk about file uh, management uh, tools over here, so we'll get the things like Google Photos, Google Drive, OneDrive, Google Docs, and many more. So now question arises, what you can build using these tools? So I would like to discuss some of the real world use cases that can be uh, implemented with the help of Composio. So if I want to build e-commerce AI bots like updating inventories in Google Sheet and notifying warehouse on Slack, this can be implemented with the help of Composio. So if I talk about customer support automation, analyzing ticket databases and sending updates to Slack, we can implement this with the help of Composio. 
So this opens endless possibilities to automate innovative and accelerate your AI driven projects. So if I talk about one specific tool, let's say GitHub. As you can see, uh, when I'm clicking on this particular tool GitHub, so I'm getting proper instruction on how to use this particular tool. First of all, it is asking me to install this particular package, Compose Your Crew AI. Then we can uh, use this particular piece of code to connect with an account. Then we can validate the account creation using this specific code. Then we can create a tool. Uh, in Composio, we can use uh, JavaScript as well with the Python programming language. We can use barrier token. Uh, in some of the tools, we can also use barrier tokens. And if you want to change the uh, framework language, like if you want to use Crew AI, you can select Crew AI. If you want to select Open AI, you can also select Open AI over here. Uh, so we'll create the API key. We'll uh, authenticate uh, the account properly. Before that, uh, I would like to discuss the pricing of the Composio over here. So as you can see, we have a hobby, starter, growth and enterprise uh, versions for Composio. A hobby version is uh, free forever. As you can see, we have 100 user accounts. Uh, 10K API calls per month is completely free. And if you want to go with a starter plan, then it is uh, $29 per month. And if, if you want to grow, go with a growth plan, then that much amount is required. And so if you want custom amount, you need to communicate with the Composio. As you can see, these are the pricing for Composio. And if you have any frequently asked questions related to the pricing, you can uh, read all these questions. And, uh, don't forget to uh, read the blogs of Composio. They are super relevant and super important. Now you're familiar with multiple things with respect to Composio. Like what is Composio, what all different tools we have, uh, what security we have in Composio. Uh, you're familiar with pricing, you have seen the blogs. Now let's dive into the documentation of Composio by just uh, clicking on docs over here. This documentation is very well organized. Uh, here we have introduction. As you can see, uh, there's a piece of code with the help of which you can uh, install the frameworks, Composio core, Composio open AI, then you can log in and the help of this particular statement, it is adding the GitHub tool in the Composio. These are the different frameworks we have in Composio. And uh, this particular documentation, believe me, is self-explanatory. You can click on installation over here. Here we have uh, a piece of a code with the help of which we can do the installation. Uh, compose your Crew AI for Crew AI framework. And if you want to create your agent using Langfin, then you can use this. And uh, if you want to get started, then uh, use this particular uh, section. And uh, if you want to see the tool calling, you can see all these things. If you want to call the tool, uh, so here you have an instruction with which you can call any tool. It is taking the example of the GitHub. So you can also paste the tools over here from the tool tools directory. As you can see, it is setting the app dot GitHub. It means it is using the GitHub tool over here. So read it out. So if you want to execute the tools, here we have a code for it. And if you want to build your customized tool, uh there's a piece of a sample code with which you can build your custom tool if you want to process the tool like <coughs> customize tool behavior by modifying schemas inputs and output you can uh, process your tools you can also add your own app over here in compose you so just read this and uh, so as i mentioned compose you is uh, secure enough so if you want to read more about authentication, you can uh, see this particular section introduction, setup integrations, and then connecting users via authentication via tokens. And we have this particular white labeling concept over here, as you can see. So you can read all these things. And uh, so as I said, it also offers a model context protocol, uh, which is a standardized way to connect your application with the multiple tools. You can read about MCP over here and it offers MCP in cursor, uh, in Claude and in bins of IDEs. All right, now it's time to solve some real world uh, problems. Let's have some practical experience with Composio. So 
imagine you are a developer or a creator or a company that wants to strategically follow a relevant kit of users top contributors rising open source stars ai researchers etc with your ai powered nlp powered we can say follow tool you can follow users automatically based on the natural language commands like follow all users contributing to trending python repositories follow top ai engineers who recently pushed code to the llm projects follow developers active in fintech open source projects no need to manually search just describe uh, who want you to follow and your automation finds and follow them for you grow your network smartly attracting better collaborators staying in touch with innovators and increasing your github visibility how cool and scalable is that so for implementation purpose first of all i will again go to the composio.dev just type in composio cool then click on this particular sign in button add your credentials accordingly then you would be uh, getting this uh, particular page then click on all apps as you can see different tools are available over here we have gmail composio google calendar notion superbase slack google sheet but in our case we want to use the github tool so that's why we are clicking on this one as you can see there are n number of different actions available in github tool we can list issue comments we can create a discussion we can uh, create a remote token for the repository uh, we can create a uh, we can get a release by attack name and multiple more things we can do with the help of this particular uh, github tool but i'm searching for a follow functionality over here follow a user let me scroll down here we have a action that we will use follow a user but before that if you are solving a use case with respect to github whose action is not available in this particular uh, list you can create your own custom action from here as you can see you can use both python as well as javascript over here for creating that particular custom action so let's click on the follow a user so i'll be getting uh, something uh, similar to that so i want to use the python programming language along with the crew ai not langchain so as you can see here i have a code so before that i have already added my credentials so i'm taking this code and uh, i'm running this in google collab so i'm just typing google collab cool So I'm creating the new notebook. So I'm changing the runtime to T4 GPU. And then I'm pasting the code over here. So as you can see, uh, here we have API key by Composio. And uh, here we have a tool, follow a user on GitHub. So you are an AI agent that is responsible for taking action based on the tools you have. You are an AI agent that is responsible for taking action based on a tool you have. This is this is a random, uh, simple prompt given by the composer itself. So I'm running this particular piece of code. First of all, I need to connect uh, with the Google Collab. It's connecting. Already connected. So now I've running this particular code. So as you can see, it is saying module not found Creo AI so i'm installing this click install crew ai so it is installed successfully i'm again running the code so it is saying that no module name langchain underscore open ai so over here as a llm i don't want to use a open ai i want to use google ai studio that's completely free so what i want to do over here so i'm just typing google ai studio on google this particular link i'm getting so i'm taking this particular piece of code i'm pasting it over here so I'm taking this LLM, replacing it with open, replacing it with OpenAI, and then I'm commenting this particular piece of code. Then I need to set the Google API key. 
import os os dot environment google api key request to api key so for getting this google api key we can go towards google ai studio ai studio api key so i'll revoke all these api keys before uploading this particular video so we can click on this particular create api key button Gemini api so i'm taking this api key i'm pasting it over here so now i would like to open my github account of ironics.ai as you can see so i'm login so this is the github repository for ironironics.ai so i'm following uh, my personal account so i'm unfollowing over here so as you can see currently ironironics.ai is not following any user but i'll follow uh, my own personal account uh, with the help of prompting so follow follow a user on github having username manmeet75 so i'm running the code again so it's saying a uh, new module compose you free ai i'm installing this particular package pip install compose your qai successfully installed now again i'm running the code it's running it's saying that module not found again so again i'm running a command to install this particular module which is pip install langchain google chain ai it's installing then i'm again running the code so i've taken the error and i'm searching on uh, stack overflow as you can see so it is asking me to uh, use this particular piece of code for your large language model so i'm pasting it over here so i'm adding my api key over here and it is saying that your environment variable should be with this particular name so i'm pasting my api key over here like this there is no need of this particular piece of code so i'm taking this llm commenting this out i'm pasting it over here llm equals to this one. so now i'm running the code and i'm asking uh follow a user with username manmeet 75 as you can see it is uh, not following any user currently so now i'm running the piece of code As you can see, it is saying that successful. Let me see on GitHub. As you can see, automatically without opening a GitHub UI, I have followed my personal account with my username. That is the power of Composio. We have, ju we have just taken the piece of code from Composio and we have implemented this. And uh, that's it for today folks uh, to summarize composio is a game changer for building ai powered workloads quickly and efficiently it supports a wide range of tools and integration it's super secure and developer friendly documentation sdk uh, make getting uh, started extremely simple before you leave uh, do check out the documentation it is very self-explanatory and beginner friendly in our upcoming videos, we'll also explore MCP model context protocol inside Compose you and see how it takes AI app development to the next level. Uh, thanks for watching till the end. And if you have any queries or doubts, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll personally respond to each one of them. See you in the next video.